Hi everyone, in today's question we have the spring DB that has an honest stretch length of 2 meter and we need to determine the stiffness of the spring to hold the 40 kilogram crate in the position shown. Uh, so when the first step of uh, this question we need to draw the free body diagram and we can go with the free body diagram of point D. So we have the weight of the crate, which is 40 kilogram times 9.81. We have the, the spring BD that is attached to this point that is making this force, let's call it TBD. And we also have the other cable TDC. So since we are in the equilibrium condition, let's start with our FX see what forces we have in x direction and if we look at that uh, we need to find the x component of tbd and tbc and if you want to do the pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse we'll have square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared which will be square root of 9 plus 4 which is 13 and we can do the same thing for this one so we know this side is 2 meter and this one is 2 meter and finding the hypotenuse uh, we can use the pythagorean theorem again to find the hypotenuse and it will be uh, square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared which will be square root of 8. So if we start with our fx equation, we'll have the x component of tbd, which will be tbd uh, cosine of alpha, which is adjacent 3 over square root of 13. And we have a negative sign for t dc. And this time, the cosine will be 2 divided by So that would be our x equation. We have two unknown, which means we need to move on to our y equation. So here is a positive direction for y, and this time we'll have TBD uh, sine of alpha, which is 2 over square root of 13 minus, uh, like actually plus T DC, and 2 over square root of 8 equals 0. And we also have the weight that we found in here, and it will be negative 40 kilogram times the acceleration of gravity. So we know the acceleration of gravity is, this will be equal to zero. And from these two equations, uh, we can find the unknowns. And what we need to do is uh, if we, Add these two together, we'll have TBD uh, 5 over square root of 13 equals to 40.9.8. And from here, we can find TBD, which will be 282.96 Newton. And now that we have the TBD, we can find TDC as well. And what we get for TDC is 332.96. We need to find the stiffness of the spring. So what we have for a spring is we know the force in a spring is equal to K times X, which X is the difference in the uh, length of the spring and K can be an indicator of the stiffness of spring. So it will be a constant that can be a representative of the uh, spring stiffness. So based on this, uh, we have another information in the question, which was the first part that we have in here, that the honest stretch length of the spring, which we show it with uh, L0 was 2 meter and we can find the stretch length of the spring and how are we going to find it? I'm showing it in red. We need to find this length and if we draw a right triangle which we know this side is 2 meter and 
here we have three meter based on the Pythagorean theorem we can find two squared plus three squared which will be nine plus four and we'll have square root of 13. so this would be our l which is the stretched length of so we found the force in here which is basically the force that we found is the force in the spring which was what we found for tcd uh, sorry tbd so we'll have tbd as our force uh, k is what we are looking for and for l we found the stretch length square root of 13 and we know the honest stretch length was two meter and this will be equal to TBD, which we found 282.96 Newton. And the only unknown that we have in here is K. And if we find the K, we'll get 176 uh, Newton over meter. And that would be the stiffness of the spring. So this is the final answer for this question. <laughs>